so I've got some news. Um, I've something's happened off camera, which wasn't meant to happen off camera, but it has happened off camera. Um, I'll show you the news. The news is here. We've we've been promoted. So hello and welcome back to the Lincoln Loco 3. Hope you're all doing well today and excited to see that we have been promoted. It's just that one, I'm an idiot uh, and two, I'm also an idiot. But, uh, I'm an idiot, that's why. So let me explain this a little bit. Uh, obviously, you were last here for the wins against Espanyol B and Sporting Gijón B. Great stuff. We then had a game postponed because of international break and then we played Celta Vigo B and Betis Deportivo B and won both of those games. Now, I'm under the impression that we've got three games left this season, and I was under the impression that everyone else had three games left this season. That's not the case. We've got a game in hand on everyone else, and this is where everything's gone wrong in my head. The plan was to come back for this Real Vallecano game and play the rest of the season and see if we get promoted. With three games to go, I thought that was absolutely fine. If we look at the table, you can see that Villarreal B, they are seven points behind us. Orohula, they are eight points behind us. Uh, Racing Santander are nine points behind us. So it should all go right down to the wire. We've played 35, Belira's have played 35. You know, everyone's on 30. Oh wait, no, everyone else is on 36 games played. And, and basically that's where the issue lies because where I've been thinking teams need to be nine points behind us, teams needed to be six points behind because we had a game in hand. As you can see, 81 points is seven points clear of third place Villarreal B. They've only got two games left to play. They can't overtake us, so we are promoted. So I do apologize massively because I've messed this up hugely. You know, we want to see this on camera. Um, I mean, the good news is we are promoted, but it's just, it's not happened in the way that I thought it was going to happen. So I guess today we're gonna play uh, until we win the title if we win the title. You never know, we could lose every game and Belarus could actually overtake us. But let's be honest, that's probably not going to happen. I think today we should be winning the league title. 26 grand a week on wages next season as well. Half a million pounds to spend in the division above us. We might need to spend that money a bit. I'll be honest with you as well, um, promotion was not meant to be on the cards this season. Uh, there was a big reason as to why at the start of the season, the Spanish Football Association came to us and say, we'll expel you from the league if you don't get promoted. It's because if we look at the league table, uh, Spanish second division pro A season preview, we're meant to come 10th. You know, last season we predicted 10th and we came fourth. So we knew that we could be there or thereabouts, but I didn't actually expect us to win the league title. I mean, I'm looking at the, the odds. The odds are all very, very narrow. So any one of these teams, even from actually Roma had a Honda upwards could be in with a shout of winning the league title because the odds are so close but it wasn't meant to happen uh what was meant to happen was we'd come like I don't know we'll just not get promoted basically and then Shitty Gel would sacrifice himself to make sure that the club didn't get expelled from the league he'd do some sort of fixing thing that was the storyline that was meant to happen um so that's gonna have to change now because I had some whole big storyline planned with Shitty Gel and now we, we can't do it because we actually got promoted. So yes, we are promoted. That's very, very good. But I am complaining about it a bit. I am complaining. Either way, it is exciting. Uh, we're in the second tier of Spanish football next season, which is absolutely mental. It has happened a lot quicker than I thought it would. I thought it would take a bit longer than it has done to get through these first two divisions, but we are, we're through. We're on our way, which is fantastic. Also worth mentioning, Europa FC are after our players. Josh Thompson is one of them that they want. Uh, you're not gonna have him because I was saying that. Only got three star potential now. Maybe actually we do let Josh Thompson go to Europa for that £500,000 minimum fee release clause. Let me see if I can negotiate with them. Let's remove all of this gubbins and put it up to £500,000. Suggest terms. They've withdrawn that offer, but they'll come back for him. They've also been after our young player, Stephen Gilpin, 16-year-old striker. And Gilpin, we rejected the bid and he came to me saying that he wanted to leave the club to go to Europa because they're better than us. Now, since we left the Gibraltar leagues, Europa have had just, you know, the reign of the division. They are the best team in Gibraltar. And because they keep getting European football because they win the league every single season, they probably actually have quite a lot of money and probably a bigger reputation than us now because they keep getting European football. So actually, they are quite an attractive team to play for. So I can see where Gilpin's coming from. But Gilpin will eat his words, I'm sure, as we hopefully will beat Rayo Vallecano B and lift the league title today. De Kene starts in goal as per usual with that back line of Brito, Lepatra, Kahinde and Kian Ronan starting at the right back position today. Where is he? 
I can't see him. Javi Vazquez is injured, but he's not our normal right back. Trilly, he's our right back. Uh, he's just come back from an injury, uh, so that's why Kian Rona has been playing there off camera. Uh, Chipolina is back from his injury. He's been playing alongside Scott Marshall in the middle with Timo Wolf and Casado starts on the wings. Juan Diaz also just coming back from an injury as Raul Zabalaga and Raul Jr. start up front. So plain and simple win this game and we go on to win the league title which is very very exciting I must say as uh, Rayo Vallecano have the first highlight of the game trying to bring the ball for we are at home today as well so it'd be great to win the league title in front of the home fans hopefully we've got a packed out stadium here today very excited to find out what happens with a new stadium next season should we need to uh, because obviously we saw last episode that we need to have 6,000 seats to be able to play in the division above us as Raul Jr. gets a goal disallowed there's offside from that initial shot. Scott Marshall now with a free kick which he puts in the back of the net somehow. How did the keeper not save that one? Let's watch this back then. Uh, Scott Marshall, it's it's not even really top. I think the keeper helps in the back of the net, if I'm honest with you there. Rayo Vallecano coming forward with a bit of pace, actually, on the ball right now. Let's not... Oh, they've given the ball away to us cheaply there as Zabalaga. Get it out wide to Scott Marshall. Scott Marshall looking for his second of the game. Gets nowhere near the target. Come on, boys. Let's just keep pushing for another hour or so, and we're lifting that league trophy. Half-time. Brilliant stuff. Uh, we are really limiting Rayo Vallecano's chances there. They've had one shot in that entire half, and it was rubbish, apparently, according to the XG. So that's fantastic. Uh, uh, let's, pump, let's pump our fists. Things are going well. I know Capable are even better out there because we are, as you know, a second half team this season. As I must say, I am the system we have played this season has just worked absolutely perfectly. Um, the season before obviously was you know the 4-3-3 narrow score more than you. That was the approach we had, and we I think we broke the the, the scoring record for the division, didn't we? Uh, but also nearly broke the conceding record for the division as well because we conceded so many goals last season. This year we haven't scored as many goals, but we crucially have hardly conceded any goals as well in the process. Although our goal difference only plus 39, I feel like it was a bit more last season. Either way, we just have a really solid defence, thanks to Lepatra and Kahinde this season. They've been absolutely crucial in developing that defence and making sure it is as watertight as possible. I started choking then at halfway through that sentence, stopped talking, and then of course we scored a second goal there as per usual. Always happens, is always the way, isn't it? I don't even know how I would do it. I don't do it at any other point in my life. But sometimes when I'm just, I guess it's just because I'm talking constantly maybe for like half an hour when I'm recording this. So maybe that's why I always just like end up choking <laughs> choking sometimes on my own words and own breath. And it's it's a bit weird. I don't know if any other creators out there have this sort of problem. I feel like I don't do it on stream so much. Just when I'm actually recording videos. It's very bizarre as we've nearly conceded the goal there. But as I was trying to say, uh, defensively, we are absolutely solid this season. And the change in formation, having shitty gel as an anchor man when we need him there as the anchor man. Um, I didn't think we'd be able to do it without Anthony Ward in goal because Anthony Ward was such an impressive keeper for us last season. But the Kenny's come in and just proved that you don't have to be the best keeper in the division to actually get promoted. Um, because obviously last season, Anthony Ward was far and away the best keeper in the division in terms of raw attributes. His actual concede goals was terrible because he was like the fifth fifth highest conceded goalkeeper in the league I think so it wasn't very good for him personally but as a team we did very very well last season but even better this season Lepatra to Raul Raul makes it three 37 goals in the league this season for Raul Jr he just keeps getting better and better I'm excited to see what he can do next season uh, next season we're very very different I feel I think next season uh it's going to be the biggest challenge yet I feel like moving across from Gibraltar to the fourth tier of Spanish football, that was a pretty like-for-like -like sort of transition across. And then moving from that division into the third tier, uh, we surprised ourselves, I think, massively by overperforming last season and this season. But it's, you know, we've, we've done that transition quite well. I think next season is going to be the hardest yet. I think the jump from this tier to the second tier of Spanish football is going to be vast huge far too big for us I feel and I feel like we're going to really struggle to avoid relegation next season so we're going to have to build like a really good five at the back system or something like that Raul Jr on the ball though can he keep it in he does into Timo Wolf and Timo Wolf in his 12th goal of the season has just really kicked on this season he started off slowly but towards the end he has been absolutely phenomenal 
I feel like we need to keep using wingers next season. So we might have, oh, here we go. Lifting the league title. You love to see it. The kits look absolutely beautiful as well. Request the kit did such a great job with all these kits. And here we go. We're lining up to collect the trophy. Where am I on this? That's not me because that's got grey hair. There I am. I, I, I think that's me at least. Oh, no, is that me? No, he's given it to... I don't think I'm there. That's not me, clearly, because that guy's black. And I'm not, obviously, as you can tell. Um, so I don't know where I am in that. That's a little bit unfortunate. Unless I'm one of these two guys here. I don't know. But we've lifted the trophy. You love to see it. Maybe that is me. I swear. Because, hang on. Can we get a close... Yeah, that looks like it is the manager walking around. I don't know why he's black, though. Because... I, I obviously wouldn't have programmed that because it doesn't look like me. 4-0. Did, did we score four goals? I don't remember scoring. I remember scoring three goals. I don't remember scoring four goals. We'll see what I've put in the episode. Either way, uh, we've won the league title, which is absolutely mental. Uh, not quite the way I expected today's episode to pan out because, you know, we started today's episode having already been promoted. I do apologise for that again. That is a big error on my part. But at least it wasn't like the La Liga title. It's only the third division. So that's my manager. Uh, the guy on the pitch looked nothing like me at all. Although, what, that's very scary. Why are you in the shadows there? There we go. That's a closer look at me and my manager. And that just... The photos never work very well. I always put my photo into the game. Never looks very good, does it? Probably more of my poor quality photo taking, I imagine. But I, I, don't, I don't know who the guy on the pitch was because it wasn't me, clearly. Because the guy on the pitch was black. I'm not. I hope they had a good time, though, whoever he was on the pitch. I hope they had a good time, you know, celebrating because I, I clearly didn't. But there we go. Promoted. Um, I, I can't believe that, to be fair. I, I'm kind of interested to see if we get any stadium news. But I don't think that will come through until the season is fully finished but because we are champions and there's nothing else to play for this season we are going to finish today's episode here i will be back on maybe tomorrow maybe thursday there might be an experiment out tomorrow but thursday at the very latest i'll be back with the transfer special which will be great fun and hopefully we'll find some more information out about the stadium and next season but until then thank you ever so much for watching you love to see it uh, if you have enjoyed today's video please do drop a like on the video for me and of course subscribe to the channel if you are new around here and click that notification bell so you never miss an upload and i'll see you next time have a good one goodbye